Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here, and today I want to take a minute of your time to ask, what is Haposhu? So, if you've lived in Okinawa or Japan for any period of time, you've been into a Lawson's or a Family Mart, some convenience store, maybe even a union to do some shopping, and looking around you see the options of alcoholic beverages. Now, most standardly, you would probably be going in for either a beer or a chuhai. So, beer, pretty simple, a little can. You look at the beer and you go, oh, yes, a beer, that sounds fantastic. Now, the thing is, it's not all beer and chuhai though. There is haposhu, which we'll pretty much get to here in a second. But basically, the way you can really tell it apart is if you look here on this lovely beer can, right there, it says Nama Biru, which means that this is a beer. Which is generally what you're looking for. This is where you're going to get the more quality, delicious products. But they are taxed. And without getting into any sort of philosophical rant on taxes, because everyone feels differently about them. Some people go, oh, well, they build roads and keep power, power and telephones. And then the other part is, well, there's potholes everywhere. So how effectively do they do that? Beer tax aside, because, you know, working after a long day and having to just shell out more for a decent beer is kind of a problem. So that's where they have Haposhu. But next, our next option, we're going to go over Chuhai. Chuhai will be most immediately recognizable by two things. The most noticeable is that there will be some kind of fruit on the can, generally. And additionally, they'll use, this actually has 28% of uh, juice in it. Interesting, peach juice. You might be thinking, it's actually pretty delicious. There is a problem that there's a good deal of si uh, salt, uh, sugar in here. But beer also has about as much sugar in it as a normal soda anyway. So, now the other thing here is if you look down here at the bottom, you'll see in this little upper katakana here, these little yellow letters, it says Chuhai. That's how you know it's a Chuhai. Also down here it says Lick Your. But it's not just that. Here we come into our first encounter with the word Haposhu. So... Haposhu is a chuhai. It's got the uh, malts and stuff in it, and it's got sugars, and then also has a bunch of peach juice. So, what is haposhu before we get into a real explanation of what's going on here? Well, haposhu is basically a bubbly liquor, a liquor. And it's basically anything that constitutes 67% or less of malt used in the fermentation of the beverage. So beer will be up above 67%, and that's where the tax hits them. And Beer companies don't like shelling out a bunch of extra money that gets taxed by the government because you want to have a de-stressing drink at the end of the day. So, to get around this particular rule, generally even around 65% and lower enters Haposhu. Now there'll be a few things you're going to notice here. This one's an Arium brand, and it's named Southern Star. What you do not see in here is the word beer. Because legally, they can't call it a beer being under 67% although they do avoid the tax. So they basically throw in other things outside of malt, like corn or soy gum or whatever they really feel like to fill in that extra percent to get to 100. And if you look down here, once again you see Liqueur and Haposhu. These three little characters here for Haposhu. Still 5.5%. That's yeah, a... So that's apparently somewhere between 4.5% and 5.5%. Some crazy shenanigans happens when you get into Haposhu is the moral of the story. And because it doesn't use entirely malts, it does have a somewhat different taste. If you're already pretty drunk, you won't notice immensely, but it's basically a cheaper beverage. So basically that can of Haposhu can sell for about 100 yen, which is generally close to a dollar, except for right now where it's close to like 80 cents. But the actual beer is going to run you closer to about... 150, 160, because they tax it sufficiently more, so you can get a fair deal more haposhu than you can legitimate beer, with it still kind of tasting like beer. But that is the secret they have been hiding from us, as Americans or Australians or whoever else may be coming to Japan, ignorant of the fact that there is a false beer among us. Although, technically, it's only a false beer by legal definition, it still tastes a good deal like a beer. So, that's pretty much all I want to really bring to light here, ironically in the land of the rising sun. 
And yeah, so Hopple Shoe is a third sort of option that exists that's not a beer, but kind of a beer. Not really diet beer either. It's, it's weird, but you should definitely give it a, a try. I mean, some of them actually aren't too bad. I think White Bell, which is probably among the best, but it's Sapporo, so what more could you expect? So yeah, that's all I had for you guys. I wanted to fill you in on this lovely beer knowledge. So congratulations, you're leaving today somewhat smarter and more knowledge-filled than you were before. And it's a good thing to learn stuff every day. Cheers, everyone. See you in the next video.